Welcome back, Father. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. So, I started thinking to myself, why did Geppetto decide that the best idea for his loneliness would be to make a wooden doll and set it up across from him when he had dinner and stuff? Like, why, why was that the best idea he could think of? I don't understand. He's, he's like, you know, I'm really lonely, and the village people, they don't like me that much, but like, um... Oh, I'll go on online dating. Uh, no, we don't have that yet. Hmm. I'll make a wooden boy. That's what I'll do. He looks a lot like Leonardo da Vinci or like, you know, drawings of how Leonardo da Vinci like looked. That's neither here nor there though. Last thing I'll say about stupid Pinocchio is if Pinocchio said, my nose will grow, what would happen? Everybody's like, this is, it's impossible. It's a paradox. He, he would be lying if he said it, if it didn't grow, but then it would grow because it grows when he lies. But then I propose to you this. He wouldn't be lying. He'd be wrong. I didn't lie. I was wrong. He wouldn't be lying, he would just be wrong, you know? He's not lying like my nose is gonna grow. He doesn't know what's gonna happen. He's like, well, I'm not really sure because I'm confused about that too. I'm gonna say it's gonna grow. And if he was wrong, then it wouldn't grow. He's not lying, that's different. Lying is like, I am telling not the truth right now. I am saying an untruth, in fact. <laughs> you calling me a truther? So there you go. I, I think I think his nose just would do nothing. Okay, so let's get to the reason you clicked on this video in the first place, which is strange as the Facebook keeps on giving me. They keep giving me stuff that I could never ever want to buy in my life. You know, Amazon's got that online. Don't you worry, Zuckerberg. I love ya. I love ya. I hate ya. I love ya. You'll never get my data. You'll never get. Oh, you have my data. Then why can't you give me better ads? Oh. So first up, we have the lovely Rachel for $435. I think it was $435. That's not Rachel, because I've seen at least four other ads uh, on Facebook that have different girls. So who is Rachel? Who is Rachel? Which one of you is Rachel? And then we have something called the Chawat Bangkok Tuk Tuk for $1,000, I think. Hold on. <laughs> oh, ooh, almost 2,000 in fact, 1,950, which like at the same time, maybe if this has its own motor and stuff, it would be different. Like it, it, maybe that would be worth $2,000. I'm not really sure. And I can't tell if this is like a transportation service, bikes connecting to, to things and wagons so that you can pull people along the way in, in big cities. It doesn't matter. This is my wallet. This is my, <sighs> you get it? And finally, we have unplugging the country for $4.99, which to me, $5 to unplug the entire country is such a steal. But the fact that that power is available to me, like I can turn off all technology and, and thrust us into an age of, of darkness, just like that TV show Revolution, you know? The whole apocalypse starts, all technology is gone, and we all have to fight to, to survive, you know? And honestly, all the zombie games have prepared me, like I'll be great in apocalypse as long as it involves zombies, which it wouldn't if I did that. The fact that I have that power is pretty cool, and for $5, a steal. It's selfless. <laughs> Not selfless. Um, shameless. Shameless promotion. Go check out episode one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Anyways, I scroll to the right and I find myself face to face with a Game Boy replica. Uh, a purple Game Boy cartridge for, what, red and blue? Or purple, I guess, with Gengar on the front, and it doesn't work. You know, it's just a keychain. Super cool. It's like five bucks, so whatever. But at the same time, I'm like, my stupid, dumb, dumb, young brain from when I was in elementary school, ooh, 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 you know, monkey, dumb kid brain, all that it would ever be able to think about was the fact that I can't play that shit. What use does it have? What What's the utility of this thing? You know, it's obviously it doesn't work. It's just a stupid keychain for aesthetic purposes. Dumb, dumb, monkey brain can't think of that. Dumb, dumb, monkey you can only think of, does this game work? Does this game work? $20 to put me in danger. $20 is a steal, okay? A steal to put me in danger? Like, yes, dude. Yes, dude, yes. Yes, 
throw me in the throes of danger so I can train in the mountains. It'll be like the, the most dangerous game, you know? The, the guy who hunts humans, he seems like a wholesome guy. So throw me in danger, 20 bucks, steal. $1,111.20 for a smart car, right? A, a little smart car, maybe a prototype, I don't know. One person can fit in that and that's it. I bet it's like a, an electric bike practically with a shell. It's worth it, right? It's, it's a vehicle and it's low on emissions, no carbon footprint, great, fantastic. It's a f***ing poster. It's a poster. Why would I ever pay $1,111.20, sorry, for a tiny poster? I'm serious though, like, that's so stupid. I mean, I'm not serious, but that's that's dumb. That's a dumb price for a dumb item. I would, I would never. This next one is the most heartless prop. Honestly, never thinks about anybody but themselves because they don't have a heart. And the most selfish, I'm just kidding. It's called heartless prop and it's $455.60, which is really expensive for whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. Is it just like makeup? Is it is it prosthetics? Even then it would be so expensive. Then why am I, why am I paying $455? For, for you to suck my heart out because that's what it looks like. Bloody mom. <laughs> Is it like a chest pad? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that seems to be about it for this video. See you later and uh, please like, subscribe. I would love to see more of you guys. Peace.